Good afternoon. My name is Sean Beard, and I'm the GEG leader for the Google Educators Group of Oklahoma, and also the Instructional Technology Director for Sand Spring Schools. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about creating digital portfolios with Google Sites. Um, now, you may be asking why Google Sites. If you are like me, your mother probably kept every single scrap of paper that you ever brought home from school, and it stayed in a box and it moved with you every time you moved from house to house. But as classrooms move from paper to digital, we need a way for our students to carry their body of work with them, but also take it on to college and career and beyond. So <coughs> sites are an easily accessible tool and it's easy to use and it becomes a body of work, as I said, for college recruiters and counselors. But in addition to that, uh, there's tons of other things that you get out of developing a digital portfolio with Google Sites. Now, if you don't know where to start, just go to sites.google.com slash new, or you can go directly to Google Drive and click new, more, and Google Sites. What kinds of information should your students put in their digital portfolio? you need to encourage them to put an About Me page on their site first so that they can talk about who they are and what level they are and of course they're, they're going to also need to create pages for their goals, links to artifacts that they've created throughout their academic career and uh, skills that they've attained throughout their career. And it's easy to create a page, just go to the Pages menu, click the Add Page icon, but once you've done that then you can start doing things like adding links to artifacts. If your students have social media outlets or if they've got a YouTube channel, more of our students are making their own videos and putting them out there for the world to see, they'll need to link back that to that on their digital portfolio. Additionally, they can put photos and videos into a Google Drive folder and you can embed that folder directly onto your Google site so it appears as a gallery of work. In showcasing work, you can also embed YouTube videos or YouTube channels directly on the page. So if students wanted to put, say, videos of things that they've made in a makerspace, they could put it directly out there for college recruiters to see. And then finally, they can embed articles and documents from their Google Drive, and they may even want to create a Google form as a reflection journal so that from time to time they can reflect on how they've advanced as uh, a student of academia and improved over time. Finally, by creating a digital portfolio with Google Sites, you can also teach your students digital citizenship as they learn to use a professional email address to put themselves out there and be safe about what they put on social media and aware of the digital footprint that they leave behind. Thank you for your time.